There's a very fine group operating up in Belfast and Derry now called the People of No Property. And they have a great approach to their work. They write songs as things happen and uh, sing them as things happen. And this is a song I learnt off one of their albums. It's a song written by a man called Jack Warshaw called No Time For Love If They Come In The Morning. Ewan McCall made me realise that it was possible to be a folk singer and to be relevant. I began to uh, get more involved in what was happening in Ireland. I began to sing about things that were happening. So I suppose I was becoming a bit more prickly. They call it the law, I call it apartheid, internment, conscription, partition and silence. 1981, the year Christy Moore and Donald Lunny's new electric band Moving Hearts sprang to life, was also the year IRA prisoners in Northern Ireland went on hunger strike. They tell us to suffer the tear gas and torture, we're in the wrong. There will be no political status. There is no such thing as political murder, political bombing or political violence. There is only criminal murder, criminal bombing and criminal violence. From the very start, Moving Hearts were associated with the Republican movement and, and then later with the hunger strikers. There would have been a huge amount of people who went to see Moving Hearts who really were not happy about the politics. And, you know, when Christy strapped on the acoustic guitar and started into the polemic, you know, it would have sort of turned away or gone to the bar at that point. Bobby Sands has died after 66 days of hunger strike. The hunger strikers was one of the terrific blunders of Margaret Thatcher or, and uh, prolonged the whole conflict for another 15 years. You know, politics is one thing and uh, gunmen shooting each other is another, but to allow people to slowly die in public week after week after week was just too much. They took away Sacco Vanzetti, Connolly and Pierce and their... That would radicalise people, although it wouldn't make them go too far with it, you know, but uh, it, they, they had more of an understanding and more of a... Uh, more of sympathy with the North. This was a complex and vexed period in the development of the Irish state. The more affluent urban areas supported the official state line that the IRA hunger strikers were criminals and an uncomfortable reminder of the violent origins of the state. Down the country, however, the deaths invoked a powerful race memory of human sacrifice and heroic revolution. Folk music was one of the few arenas where these national growing pains were given an airing. The, the two things came together, and I remember being at Moving Hearts gigs like, and there was, you know, a powerful sense of that, that, you know, sense of Ireland and its grievance being let loose in this arena, as the men were dying. I remember like being in Castle Bar at a, a festival when Moving Hearts were playing, and, and one of the hunger strikers died that day, uh, Martin Harson, and was announced on stage, you know, and. It was just the most amazing, like leaving aside whatever your politics are, there was this sort of marrying of that uh, political sentiment with the emotion of the music. Moving Hearts' Republican stance may have looked like a backward step to Dublin Metropolitans, 